Breaking up is hard to do, and letting go can be even tougher. This is a review of the new film, The Broken Hearts Gallery. Max broke up with me. Pay up. Pay? What's going on here? We bet on all your relationships. You what? Yeah, how do you think I afford this lifestyle? <gasps> Lucy is what her friends call an emotional hoarder, and it's taking a toll on her personally and professionally. See this tie? It's the only thing I have left from my last relationship. Why don't you leave it here? A nail, perfectly placed. So look at that. It's like art in a gallery. I can help with the hotel in exchange for gallery no. space. Of course, we could use the help. You start tomorrow. Get us the coffee. Nothing with actual dairy. He gets really sensitive. This Selena Gomez exec-produced millennial rom-com follows the formula and features all the cliches you'd expect, and that's not a bad thing. The Broken Hearts Gallery is fun and sweet with a bouncy script and tight performances. Geraldine Viswanathan leads the way as Lucy, whose shrine to her past relationships worries her friends, well played by Molly Gordon as Amanda and Philippa Sue as Nadine. But when a breakup, job loss, and Aaron Duber ride connects Lucy with Nick, played by Doc Ray Montgomery, she's able to turn some of those negatives into positives. However, at a nearly two-hour running time, it takes a while, but the payoff is worth it. I also seriously enjoyed the look of this film, which delivers some cool views of New York City with some well-done cinematography. Putting it all together is director-slash-writer Natalie Krinsky, who plays it safe. She doesn't upset the rom-com boat, but instead embraces it, getting the most out of a talented, young, and diverse cast. Also, good to see the legendary Bernadette Peters in a pivotal role. And for that, I give The Broken Hearts Gallery an enthusiastic three and a half stars out of five on the Rob Rating Scale. I'm Rob LaFriends, and I'll see you at the concession stand.